Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this topic is Antenna Parameters Part 1. In this session, we will discuss the definition and explanation of important antenna parameters. From the exam point of view, you may expect the question like this. Define and explain the following antenna parameters. So few antenna parameters are expected. So first is radiation pattern. This term radiation pattern is also called field distribution pattern. As the name indicates, it is the pattern of radiation. Now, this diagram uh, lo. Ye diagram draw karne ke liye teen axis use ke. x axis, y axis and z axis. These are the similar axis which we have studied in electromagnetics. Now, we are talking about a transmitting antenna. As the name indicates, transmitting antenna radiates the signal. So, there is one particular direction at which you are getting a maximum output, maximum radiation. So, this particular diagram, which is drawn with red ink, is called major lobe, L-O-B, major lobe. You may expect the question like this, uh, define and explain the term radiation pattern or define different lobes of radiation pattern. So as I said, if we are talking about a transmitting antenna, along one particular direction, you are getting a maximum output. So this particular pattern is called major lobe. So this red colored uh, diagram indicates the major lobe. Now, we know that radiation is a function of direction. We have shown three directions. So uh, it is a function of direction and it basically gives distribution of radiation energy in the free space. That means how if the transmitting antenna started transmitting the signal, then how the distribution of energy takes place in the free space. This particular diagram is called radiation pattern. So this particular uh, lobe is the major lobe which shows distribution of energy along one particular direction and it is maximum. Next is there are two parts. One is E field and another is uh, H field. E stands for electric field intensity, H stands for magnetic field intensity. So definition is E plane, just this diagram, just this part ka jo hai, uh, drawn with blue ink, it is E field pattern, whereas this part is H uh, field pattern. Now, E field pattern is the plane containing E bar. E bar means electric field intensity and the maximum radiation. Matlab, itna jo portion hai, itna, itna jo portion hai, this is E field pattern. Whereas, H field pattern, H is magnetic field intensity. It is the plane containing H bar and maximum radiation, means this portion, where uh, I have written H field pattern. So, it is the plane containing magnetic field intensity and maximum uh, radiation because this part indicates the maximum radiation which is called a major lobe. Now, as I said, major lobe is the lobe or is the radiation pattern at, uh, or which shows the direction of maximum radiation. Apart from these lobes, there are certain uh, different lobes which are called as minor lobes. So all the lobes except major lobe are called minor lobe. Next is side lobes. See, along this, you are getting a maximum output. Apart from this, there are again some radiation pattern or you make it more simple. Dusre direction se bhi kuch radiation aa rahe, jisko bolenge side lobes. So side lobes are smaller lobes, smaller radiation pattern, which are in the uh, same hemisphere as that of the major lobe. But ye jo hemisphere hai, isme major lobe hai. Usi hemisphere mein, you are getting some side lobes which are having a uh, less uh, radiation pattern or which are having less energy. So uh, minor lobes are all lobes except major lobes. Side lobes, as I said, these are uh, these lobes are adjacent uh, to the major lobe and back lobes. So if if the antenna is like this, you are getting a, a radiation in a particular direction. It may happen that from the back end of the antenna, some radiation is generated that are these lobes or these radiation patterns are called back lobes. So these back lobes are opposite to the major lobe and they occupy the hemisphere which is in opposite direction to that of the major lobe. So these are the radiation patterns of an antenna. Next is BWFN. Refer this diagram. As shown in this diagram, I have shown two dotted lines. See, 
there are certain directions along which you are getting zero radiation that is zero output or null output so let us say these two dotted lines uh, drawn with the grain uh, pin are indicating the directions along which you are getting a zero output or null outputs so if you measure the angular width between uh, these two lines then it is called bwfn b beam width between first nulls next is gain of an antenna basically gain is a ratio it is u u means radiation intensity radiation intensity of test antenna to the radiation intensity of reference antenna we are using two different words in this definition one is test antenna test antenna ka matlab hai this antenna ka gain measure karna wo antenna so the antenna whose gain we which we want to measure is the test antenna what is the reference antenna reference antenna as the name indicates is is ideally uh, isotropic antenna isotropic antenna is an antenna which radiates equally in all possible directions so we are considering that we are using two antennas one is test antenna jiska gain measure karna hai second is reference antenna which is ideal isotropic antenna if we are applying same power to both the antennas and if you take the ratio that is u means radiation intensity of test antenna to the radiation intensity of reference antenna then this ratio gives us value of gain of an antenna for isotropic antenna it is expressed as u max that is maximum radiation intensity of uh, test antenna to u0 u0 is maximum radiation intensity of reference or isotropic antenna next is directive gain so the definition is the extent to which a practical antenna concentrates its radiation uh, radiated energy related to the isotropic antenna iska kya matlab hai if you are talking about a practical antenna and if you are comparing it with isotropic antenna yaad rakhna hai isotropic is antenna is an antenna which radiates equally in all possible directions so it is the ideal antenna to hum log agar किस एक्सटेंट में प्रैक्टिकल एंटीना और जो डिजाइन एंटीना वो रेडिएट कर रहा है इन कंपैरिजन विथ आइडियल एंटीना दैट इज कॉल्ड और दैट वैल्यू गिव्स अस द वैल्यू ऑफ डायरेक्टिव गेन सो द एक्सटेंट टू व्हिच प्रैक्टिकल एंटीना कंसंट्रेट्स इट्स रेडिएटेड एनर्जी रिलेटेड टू द आइसोट्रोपिक एंटीना गिव्स अस वैल्यू ऑफ डायरेक्टिव गेन फार्मूला इज जी डी नोटेशन इज जी डी व्हिच इज पी डी पावर डिसिपेटेड अपॉन पावर एवरेज next is effective length basically this parameter effective length see total length of antenna will be different out of that a particular path particular length is useful for radiation so that is effective length so it gives us an indication how effectively given antenna radiates or receives em waves em means electromagnetic waves we know that broadly there are two types of antennas one is transmitting antenna another is receiving antenna so it is denoted by le effective length is le which is ratio of v upon e v is the voltage e is electric field intensity next parameter is efficiency of antenna yaad kaise rakhna hai bahut simple term hai ye basic equation of efficiency is output upon input so the formula is eta that is efficiency is pr upon pt pr is radiated power pt is the total supplied power to an antenna so output upon input p radiated is output power pt is the power which is supplied to the antenna terminals now the same equation can be written as radiated power upon pt means total power which is pr plus pl where this pl indicates loss power because there will be certain losses in case of uh, antenna radiation so that power is called loss power which is denoted by pl so total power is radiated power plus loss power and output power is radiated power this is the formula to calculate the efficiency so it is ratio of radiated power to the total supplied power in terms of resistance we can well write this equation as we know that power is basically current square into resistance so i can write the equation as power is equals to i square into r so this same equation i can write it like this 
I square into R R, where R to the base small r indicates radiation resistance. Means the opposition uh, provided to the radiation pattern is R R radiation resistance of an antenna divided by this term is again I square R R plus P L is the loss power. So I will write it as I square into R L. R L is the loss resistance. So I square is there in numerator and denominator, it will get cancelled. So corresponding equation in terms of resistance will be RR upon RR plus RL. Same thing, instead of P, I mean instead of power, we have written notation a resistance. Next is the beam width. Again, refer the same diagram which we have already discussed. We have discussed that this is the major lobe or a main lobe or main major pattern. Now in this case, suppose at this point you are getting a maximum radiation. A and B are the two points where you are getting 50%, one half of the radiation compared to this maximum radiation point. You can well say like this, A and B are the points at which the power is 3 dB, 3 decibels down compared to the maximum power. So, if you measure the angular width between these two points, A and B, where the power is 50% of the maximum value, then it is called HPBW, half power beam width. So, beam width basically measures directivity. So, it is the angular width. Ye jo width hai. This is called angular width. It is angular width measured on major lobe. Ye major lobe hai. Yahan pe hum log measurement kar rahe. So, angular width measured on major, uh, major lobe between the points, between the two points A and B at which the radiation is one half, 50% of the maximum value. So it is called half power beam width. Next is the bandwidth. It is the generalized definition. Basically, there is a particular range of frequencies over which that particular antenna operates. So it represents the bandwidth. So it is corresponding to range of frequencies. Next is radiation intensity. It is defined as power per unit solid angle. So power is P bar. Solid angle is d omega or d ohm. So power per unit solid angle of an antenna is called radiation intensity. Next parameter is impedance z of an antenna. It is basically input impedance. We know that to feed antenna, to supply uh, power to an antenna, transmission lines are used. So this is the input impedance of antenna where transmission line is connected to an antenna. This is called impedance. I mean, it is related to input impedance of an antenna. Then radiation density. This term radiation density is related to pointing theorem. And we know that according to pointing theorem P bar, that is power is E bar, electric field intensity cross H bar. H bar is magnetic field intensity. So this, this represents the power density associated with EMF that is electromagnetic frequency of an antenna in the far field region. There are different regions of an antenna radiations. As the name indicates, it is a far field region. What region is there means you are taking a measurement uh, or you are getting readings very near uh, to an antenna that is near field region. On the same lines, if you are away from an antenna, then that particular region is far field region. So it is the power density associated with electromagnetic frequency of an antenna in the far field region. So these are the parameters, antenna parameters uh, related uh, to this unit. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.